A graveyard orbit, also called a junk orbit or disposal orbit, is an orbit that lies away from common operational orbits. One significant graveyard orbit is a supersynchronous orbit well above geosynchronous orbit. Satellites are typically moved into such orbits at the end of their operational life to reduce the probability of colliding with operational spacecraft and generating space debris. Topic Overview A graveyard orbit is used when the change in velocity required to perform a de-orbit maneuver is too large. De-orbiting a geostationary satellite requires a delta v of about 1,500 meters per second, 4,900 feet per second, whereas re-orbiting it to a graveyard orbit only requires about 11 meters per second, 36 feet per second. For satellites in geostationary orbit and geosynchronous orbits, the graveyard orbit is a few hundred kilometers above the operational orbit. The transfer to a graveyard orbit above geostationary orbit requires the same amount of fuel as a satellite needs for about three months of stationkeeping. It also requires a reliable attitude control during the transfer maneuver. While most satellite operators try to perform such a maneuver at the end of their satellite's operational lives, through 2005 only about one-third succeeded. However, as of 2011, most recently decommissioned geosynchronous spacecraft were said to have been moved to a graveyard orbit. According to the Inter Agency Space Debris Coordination Committee, IADC, the minimum perigee altitude delta h, display style delta h, above the geostationary orbit is delta h equals 235 km plus 1000 c r a m k m display style delta h equals 235 m box k m plus left 1000 c underscore r frac a m right m box k m where c r display style c underscore r is the solar radiation pressure coefficient and a m display style frac a m is the aspect area m squared to mass kilogram ratio of the satellite this formula includes about 200 kilometers for the geo protected zone to also permit orbit maneuvers in geo without interference with the graveyard orbit Another 35 kilometers, 22 miles of tolerance must be allowed for the effects of gravitational perturbations, primarily solar and lunar. The remaining part of the equation considers the effects of the solar radiation pressure, which depends on the physical parameters of the satellite. In order to obtain a license to provide telecommunications services in the United States, the Federal Communications Commission FCC requires all geostationary satellites launched after March 18, 2002, to commit to moving to a graveyard orbit at the end of their operational life. U.S. government regulations require a boost Delta H of about 300 km, a spacecraft moved to a graveyard orbit will typically be passivated. Uncontrolled objects in a near geostationary Earth orbit geo exhibit a 53-year cycle of orbital inclination due to the interaction of the Earth's tilt with the lunar orbit. The orbital inclination varies plus or minus 7.4 degrees, at up to 0.8 degrees par. Topic: <laughs> Disposal orbit. While the standard geosynchronous satellite graveyard orbit results in an expected orbital lifetime of millions of years, the increasing number of satellites, the launch of microsatellites, and the FCC approval of large megaconstellations of thousands of satellites for launch by 2022 necessitates new approaches for deorbiting to assure earlier removal of the objects once they have reached end of life. Contrary to geo graveyard orbits requiring three months' fuel, large satellite networks require orbits that passively decay into the Earth's atmosphere. For example, both OneWeb and SpaceX have committed to the FCC regulatory authorities that decommissioned satellites will decay to a lower orbit—a disposal orbit—where the satellite orbital altitude would decay due to atmospheric drag and then naturally re-enter the atmosphere and burn up within one year of end of life. See also List of orbits 
SNAP-10A, nuclear reactor satellite, remaining in a 700 nautical mile km, 810 miles sub-synchronous Earth orbit for an expected 4,000 years Spacecraft Cemetery, in Pacific Ocean <laughs> Notes <laughs>